talk about your new relationship. Yeah. Congrats. Where do I start? Uh, How'd y'all meet? We we met at a restaurant. It was the most organic thing ever. Um, and it was at the right place at the right time kind of thing. Uh, because this was, I want to say, no more than three weeks after um, we had like officially wrapped filming. Like the production crew left Seattle and we're back in the real world. So I guess that was... I'm trying to put this um, five weeks, five or six weeks post the breakup. Mm-hmm. I'm still feeling it. Yeah. You know, like yeah. I'm, I'm in the bed. I'm, I got Chris Brown going on in a, well, not Chris Brown. I forget who I was playing. I might've <laughs> just been staring at the ceiling. <laughs> what, uh, what did your breakup playlist look like? That's a great question. <laughs> Gotta know. I don't have one. No? Just whatever no. hits in the moment. I put on movies. Movies? Yeah. Eat and it's, and, and not just like. Not the feel good movies. Mm-hmm. I put on like action. Like I want to just turn my brain off yeah. and just focus on the screen and not worry about emotions because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I'm a very emotional man. So I tend to worry about those all the time. So I just want to, in the moment, I just want to turn that off. But listen, an emotional man is a smart man because yeah. if you can be in tune with that side of your brain, mm. I feel like you connect with people better. You understand women better. Your relationships last longer. Like being in tune is everything. Some men try to, you know, tune it out because it's not what society feels like. Oh, men shouldn't be emotional Mm -hmm. about things like, you know, where did you learn that? Like soft side. I've always been that way. Yeah. Always. Uh, Ever since I was a kid. Uh, My brother actually used to tease me quite a bit for being sensitive. And it it hurt. Uh, But I never changed. I never turned that off. And uh, it has proven to be probably the the best side of myself Mm -hmm. is being sensitive and emotional but also not just being like outwardly like oh i'm gonna cry about everything no like i know my emotions and sometimes i i can't control them but most of the times i'm like okay i'm feeling sad Mm -hmm. and then i know why i'm feeling sad some people just like can't articulate that but i can articulate my feelings yeah and so that's probably my my biggest flex is never changing who i was even if i was teased for being that kid. Yeah. yeah. I, and that's a great thing though. And I feel like, you know, if you're emotional and in tune, you can, you have like that level of perception that doesn't make you feel a need to change because you're aware that people are only projecting mm-hmm. and, you yeah. know, it's not a bad thing at the end of the day. I'm, yeah. I'm emotional too. I'm a okay. Pisces, you know, okay. I'm a water sign. It's okay. part of my nature, okay. I guess, to be emotional. But I always feel like powerful because I feel like I'm intuitive with mm. emotion. Okay. Like I can predict things before they happen. Really? Yeah. I can okay. read people very well. Okay. It's a it's a blessing for sure. Okay. Are you a palm reader? You do that? No. Yes, okay. I'm le- I'm le- I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. I wish I could like look at somebody and read their mind. Okay. That's what I'm trying to learn right now. <laughs> I feel it. I okay. Feel so it. back back to this relationship. Yes. Yes. So five or six weeks after uh, breakup, still feeling the breakup in the crib, not taking care of myself. Mm-hmm. Uh, my boy, um, who I was working with at Nintendo at the time, um, one of my best friends, Jordan, uh, called me up. He's like, bro, get yourself together. Shower, put some clothes on, eat something, we're going out. Went to a day party in Seattle. And this is the first day party of the season. This was Memorial Day weekend. And uh, everybody's out of this joint. And I really didn't want to be around people. So I'm lit. I'm drinking. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, I'm, yeah, drink away the feelings. I'm I'm doing my thing, having a good time, mm-hmm. uh, just to myself, not talking to anybody. I see her, and I've seen her multiple times throughout my time in Seattle. I've been in Seattle two years at that point, and I've seen her around. You know, black community, small, mm-hmm. uh, and she had on this um, crazy fit with a with a pink Telfar bag, and all I do we're leaving. And I think that uh, she was actually just getting there as we're leaving, which is very her. Uh, and I'm like, that's a nice bag. And I just walk out because I don't, I'm not trying to entertain or mm-hmm. get in her face or like that. Mm-hmm. And knowing that I would see her again, if that was meant to be, whatever, that's probably like 45 minutes later, we all go to this restaurant. It's like the after move. And this place is packed. No place to sit. It's, I got my crew and i'm sitting at a table a four top with my fraternity brother 
we have the only two seats available in the spot. Mm. Her and her girlfriend are walking up and down the aisle looking for a place to sit. And the gentleman that I am, <laughs> I asked her if she wanted to just sit down and we could share the table. Yeah. And she sat next to me and the rest is history. The rest is history. Wow. Yeah. All started from the pink Telfar bag. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love it. I just bought a pink Telfar. Okay. So I'm going to start wearing it out There more. you go. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what it does for me. Yeah. Um, that's cool. So from there, you guys hit it off. Um, mm -hmm. You went on a few dates, I'm assuming. Got yep. to know each other. Mm -hmm. Did you, like, exchange social media? Like, um, Well, the first thing I told her uh, when she sat down next to me, I told her I was on, I was blind. You and did? that I was going to come out and that it didn't go well for me. Oh. And it's actually kind of crazy because she said her favorite show was Love is Blind. Because how I asked her was like, hey, do you do you watch reality TV? And she was like, yeah, I watch Love is Blind. It's my favorite. And I was like, <laughs> oh, wow. OK. So I had to tell her at that point. But um, she had sensed that something was wrong with me. Mm -hmm. And when I told her what was up, she was like, I got it. I understand. And she really helped me build myself back mm -hmm. up. 